corporate armies tells a very scary story for the future of our world. Security is typically seen as a core state function, part of the so-called social contract between citizen and state. That is now changing uh, and violence is being performed by all sorts of corporate actors who have no uh, limits to the amount of power that they can accrue to themselves. In Israel, we looked at how the Israeli occupation forces were privatizing the levers of control they exercised over the Palestinians in the West Bank. We talked to survivors uh, of uh, the brutality that was inflicted uh, by paramilitaries who were being paid by Chiquita, uh, the banana grower. We also reported on a landmark legal case. Peasants in Honduras have alleged a series and pattern of attacks and killings, including by private security workers hired by the company. It's become this centre of private military companies. It's also the home of the uh, UK Special Forces SAS. Uh, so when these people come out of service, the private military contractors are there straight away to sign them up to go and fight new wars. Private security workers outnumber public police officers in dozens of countries. This everyday private security has become so widespread that you almost don't see it. You take it for granted, said one researcher. There are guards everywhere. In some places, this trend has only exacerbated inequalities between rich and poor, those who can and those who cannot pay for security. This could in the end, see corporations going to war over assets with their own private militias. Who knows where this ends? This is an incipient trend that is, has more importance for the future of um, uh, the whole world.